Hey guys, so I am back from my vacation in Las Vegas and I am here to work on the last page for that trip in my year of my life journal. Um, I always save the last page until I get home because there's just too much other stuff to do with, um, you know, packing all your stuff up and getting to the airport and you know, our flight was early in the morning, so on Saturday, so I still have Friday's page to do. Before I do the page, I'm going to use my LG um, Pocket Photo Printer, which I got on Amazon. It's by LG. It looks like this. It's in a case right now. Hang on, my phone's going to sleep. Um, it's hooked up to my telephone uh, via Bluetooth, and you use an app. Um, that you download for it on your phone or your iPad to print whatever pictures are in your camera roll on here. So, and I haven't printed Friday's pictures yet, so I thought I would get on and I would print them for you. So here's one that I want to print of my husband when we were having our last lunch out. And I'm going to, let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Okay. So I've got him here, and it's going to print sideways, but I'm, I'm and I'm okay with that. So we were I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to oh, paired device not found really. So you got to make sure the Bluetooth is turned on. Let's see. So evidently I turned it off by mistake. All right, so now it's connected. I'm going to go to um, LG Pocket Photo Printer app. And this is called an LG Pocket Photo Printer. And you can get them on Amazon, and you can get a, a package deal where it comes with the printer and a case and the charging cables and everything. Um, so here's this picture. So I'm going to just hit the little print icon and then click OK. And then it is going to print. And there we go. Is that successfully? It prints little small pictures. They're perfect for working in your journal. And um, let's see. And I and it's not real big, so I can bring it with me on my trip. And I don't have to worry about printing pictures while I'm away, or printing a bunch of pictures and then trying to get them into my journal when I get back. Um, I got it for my Christmas or my birthday. I don't remember last year, I think. Um, and on our last day in Las Vegas, we had, um, lunch at this really great restaurant called the Earl of Sandwich, which is hilarious. The name just cracks me up, uh, but they had really great sandwiches. Um, I really liked it. They were inside Planet Hollywood. And then we also had dinner, which are the pictures I'm printing, at uh, Mario Batali and Joe Bastianich's restaurant, Burger and Beer. And it is overlooking the part of the Grand Canal in the Venetian. And i got to tell you, if you guys have a chance to eat there, um, to do it, because the view is just amazing. So I am going to finish printing all my pictures. I've got to print pick I've got to pick the ones I want to print, but these are all views. Can you see these? These are views from our table at the restaurant. That's one I'm probably going to print. That's from when I got home. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to finish printing my photos and then I'll be right back and I'll show you what kind of little bits of ephemera that I brought home to use on the page and that I normally um, collect a lot on my trip um, that and most of the time the little bits I collect are free I'll um, talk you through what I do you know how I ask for things and all of that stuff because I do ask alright I will be right back okay as it's printing the last couple pictures for this page I did earlier in the week we'll zoom out again um, where we went to see the Frank Sinatra tribute show uh, I started to run out of um, paper for the little printer, 
So I started to be pretty um, careful about what I printed, which I'm not normally, to be perfectly honest. Um, so there were a couple of pictures I wanted to print when I got home and stuff in here. This is one of them. This was the curtain before the show even started. And I love not only the colors, and I don't think you can see it on camera as much as in real life. It's like hot pink and purple with a blue. It, I just thought it was inspiring and would make a great um, journal page background at some point. So I print, I took a picture of it before the show started. This was my grilled salmon dinner at Buddy V's. Oops, it looks like I have to print one more photo. So let's do that. And it can just be printing. It doesn't want to print it because it's got a low battery. All right, well, we'll just let it charge and then I'll print it later. And that goes in there. All right, so we're going to skip ahead here. So when I'm traveling, I collect things from everywhere and take pictures when I can using my cell phone. These are the three I printed for this spread. This is my husband. Um, we're sitting back, relaxing, waiting for our dinner. And this is the view, as I said, from our table. And this is a picture of some of the architecture designs I thought were really pretty and inspiring. So I want to use those on my page. I always ask for when we go out, and especially when we're traveling, um, for a bit when we walk into the restaurant or we're leaving, do you have a business card for the restaurant? They always have them. Rarely are you going to run into one that says no. And then you can use the card on your journal page. You know, it makes a great little keepsake to put on your page to remember where it was you ate. And usually they have the phone number and the address, or the phone number in this case, and the website. In this case, this card is double-sided and has this picture of the cow on the other side. So I actually have two of those cards. There's another one. Here's another one. Because I wasn't sure if I wanted to put them on the page, you know, something like that. Um, if I'm at a restaurant eating and they bring me um, my meal uh, on the plate with an interesting piece of deli paper underneath the food, um, you don't really want to use that deli paper in your journal because it's got food and grease and all kinds of not fun things for your journal on it. But I always ask the waiter, um, do you have a piece of that deli paper that I could have? Um, and I just, they usually give you a funny look to be honest. And I just say, you know, I'm a mixed media artist. I really love a little piece for my journal. And they almost always say yes. This is a little piece I actually got when we went to uh, Buddy V's. And you can see it here in the background. I tore the piece in half, and you can see it here. Um, we got um, an appetizer with this underneath it, so I like that. When I'm on the airplane, you know, you always get pretzels or peanuts or whatever. Um, I usually save the bag. Uh, I did in the beginning of the trip. Let's see. Here's my peanut bag, and I used it to put pictures in. Um, they make good little holders uh, for photos or pamphlets or brochures. You also can just cut the part of bag apart and use it as collage material in your page. I always ask if they have a copy of the menu I can have. These are from the Earl of Sandwich. Um, and I also, when we were at the Earl of Sandwich, our sandwiches came wrapped up with these labels on them. So um, before we um, got too far into our lunch and because they didn't have any food things touching them, I asked my husband, can I have a label off your sandwich? <laughs> he, he looked, my husband knows me by now, but he looked at me like, really? But he gave it to me anyway. <laughs> These are the um, claim tickets from our luggage um, from the flight home. So they make good collage fodder. You know, we're walking around the casino and, <laughs> you know, there's always people trying to hand you stuff. You know, this was, you know, a little booth they had, win instant millions, and you know, you're like, really? Like, you're really going to win instant millions. Um, but they had these funny, you know, $2 million bills they were handing out. And I don't know if I'm going to use it on my page, but I did think it was funny enough to bring home and show you guys. 
when we were at Burger and Beer and I asked uh, if they had a copy of the menu I could have, they gave me the ones that they give out when you go there to sit down. So I have the drink menu and the food menu. And I probably won't use them in this journal, but boy, they make good collage material, um, good pages for a junk journal. They're nice, thick card stock, so I love that. I brought home lots of bags, and uh, this isn't even all of them, but um, a lot of them had great artwork on it, would make good junk journal covers. This is a skull candy bag. Um, we went food shopping while we were there uh, to Whole Foods, and um, you know, I love the watermelons on this bag, so I brought the bags home. We have Whole Foods here, it probably has watermelons on their bags too, but you know, I'd have to go spend more money. <laughs> we went to Carlo's Bake Shop a few times. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was at the gym this morning. Um, I brought home um, the bags. Um, I have this one bag from uh, breakfast that we got there. And I have a couple of ba bakery boxes because I did bring treats home for the family, my daughter and her boyfriend. And so I brought the bakery boxes home. Last year when we went to Las Vegas, I turned, I had a box like this and I turned it into a junk journal. So I will probably do that again with these. Oops. Uh. All right. And most of these, you know, didn't cost me anything. They were, you know, from things we were going to do anyway or um, places we just were. You have to eat while you're on vacation, and most of the time you don't cook, you go out. So if that's going to happen, then why not ask for little bits and pieces that you can use in your journal? And that's what I always do. Um, I always come out with a handful of business cards, even if we end up not eating at those restaurants. Like We didn't go to this one, which maybe next time we will. This is a great little um, Betty Page-inspired um dress shop that I really like. I didn't buy anything there this time, but I did get the business card. The Neon Museum, that was a, that place was a lot of fun. Um, this is one of the other restaurants we didn't get to go to, but the card is really cool. We went to uh, more than a couple of parks, and one of them had a pay, uh, do-it-yourself pay. Instead of somebody at, at the ticket booth, you had to pay the entry fee yourself, and they had these little envelopes, and you dropped it in a box after you put the money in, and all that, and I thought the envelopes were cute, and I probably it's probably some sort of federal offense to steal the envelope, but I took one, I'm sorry. I always take the little pads of paper from the hotel or resort that we're at, and the pens, because the paper is really great for your junk journals, or just to make notes on in the kitchen, and the pens usually are only, <laughs> don't last very long, they're inexpensive, but, you know, again, they're just a good kitchen pen to make some notes with, or something like that. We had these that were sticking out of some food that we got. Um, I think these are um, from uh, Burger and Beer. Um, these really great picks. Um, they were fairly clean when we pulled them out, so I brought them home. And there's always a big pile of maps and magazines, and I don't bring all of them home, but I pick the ones that have interesting images in it that I think I might want to cut apart when I get home for collage, or maybe words and phrases. This one, I just love this image on the front. It says, Hello Beauty. I love that. So, oh, there's another car. So, I know I'm going to want to use that in something at some point. Um, and a lot of these throwaway little magazines, I even get them here at home, and this is where I get a lot of words and phrases and the occasional image that you can use in collage. Um, those girls would be cute on ATC cards, right? Um, we have a Hawaii themed ATC um, swap coming up in Crazy Island Family. I could see some of these girls in the swimsuits on some of those cards. That would be cute. See, I didn't even know that when I brought it home, but I always pick up things like this, bring them home, and then, and then disas <laughs> disassemble them, basically. So when you're out and you're traveling, um, you can find stuff to use in your journal without spending a lot of money. Um, I did get some tissue when I was out. Um, this I found at the local Target in Las Vegas. Um, they may have it at my local Target, but I hadn't seen it there, but I did see it in Las Vegas. It's American Greetings tissue, and I love the neon dots. How do you just not love the neon dots? So I had to have it. It was only a, like $1.69 or something. I don't remember. It wasn't very expensive. 
So, okay, now let's put our page together. And I'm not going to fast forward. I'm going to just do it, and you guys are going to see my process. Let's see. I want to start with, I think, with lunch the day before we left. And let's see. I don't think I want to put a flip out, but I think I want to cut this top off. I just try to follow my instincts. Let's see. Yep, I like that. Well, let's get some gel medium out. I usually use heavy gel or extra heavy gel. I do bring collage podge or mod podge on vacation, but most of the time I'm sticking business cards and other things that are made out of cardstock in here, and the collage podge just doesn't stick them very well. Um, I do have some photo paper for my printer that is sticky back and some that is not. I love the sticky back. Um, so when I can and I remember to, I try to pack the sticky back because it works really well. Oops. And I'm just going by my instincts and I am going with what feels right and that's really what I do with this journal I need my credit card let's see oh, my squeegee here we go <coughs> I'm still coughing and wheezing from the trip because Las Vegas is not good for my asthma and then I got home and it's kind of icky here too so is kind of acting up. Now I don't throw these extra bits away right away. I usually just set them to the side until I'm sure that I don't want to use them. Um, I'm going to put these on here. I think like that. And that kind of balances out the page, having all of this heavy stuff over here and then having more down here and then travel, your eye travels kind of around the page. I always leave for my trip with pages pre-decorated and painted, so I'm not working with a blank page. And I don't usually bring lots of paint with me on my trip. I bring a little bit, but not too much. And if I do bring paint, it's usually watercolor, and it's not usually something that I use in this journal. It's usually for my watercolor, little watercolor journal. I like that. So I'm going to put these on here. These are the luggage claim tickets. But I think I want to put them here. Well, this is the kind of thing that's just good to just save. These stickers, you might as well use them. Let's see. I think I want it down here. Okay, and then we have our photos. Now this one is has a white back because this is a sticky back paper. These blue ones are not sticky. Um, I love the sticky back. I said that already, didn't I? I'm running a little low on paper, so I have to save up a few pennies so I can get some more paper. Let's see, my cute husband. I think I'm going to put him here. And then, oh, I just said these aren't sticky. So for these, we have to use a um, the gel medium. Oh, 
And a lot of times I print too many pictures and then I, ha I don't have any place to put them. So then I end up putting a pocket on the page and just putting pictures in the pocket. to get it stuck down really well. I'll try to Yeah, maybe there. You could use tape runner or something else to put these in. And if you're worried about getting glue on the photo, you can um, you um, make sure that whatever you stick them down with, that you wipe it off with glue. I got some glue on that one, I'm, I'm, but it's fine. I'm not too worried. Put the picture in. Push it down. Make sure this is clean. Swipe it one way to push it into the glue, the medium, then wipe it off and pull it the other way. And then there you go, nice and stuck down really well. All right, we are going to let that dry and then I will be back to do some journaling on the page and show you how I finish it off. And I will share my other pages with you. I'll be right back. Okay, I always finish it off with a Stabilo pencil and some journaling. Um, so let's do that. And I, I usually try to highlight like the parts of the page that I think are the most important to me um, with the Stabilo pencil, which is usually the photographs. Not always, but usually. And it's not completely dry, but I think it's dry enough. I always have a water brush in my kit. And I usually have my watercolors in it in with me too, so if I forget the water brush, then it's there's one in the watercolor kit. I think I want to go around this too. Yeah. Not because I think the cow is important, but I think it might balance the page out a little bit. We spent this trip pretty much eating our way through Las Vegas, so now I gotta go to the gym. <laughs> but it was fun. That's what vacations are for, right? To eat too much and gain some weight. <laughs> All right, that's good. Let's give it another quick dry. Now when you're using, at, uh, when I'm on vacation, obviously I don't have a heat tool with me, so I never use that. But if you're doing something like this with pictures printed on the LG photo printer, be careful about getting them too hot because it does affect the paper and the picture. Um, so don't do that. And guess how I know that. <laughs> now. I'm going to um, 
do some doodling on the page and then I'm going to do some journaling and this is what I always do and I usually just have a black and white pen with me. I usually don't have anything more than that. And I just do some quick doodling, nothing, you know, complicated, just easy. Don't overthink it. This is about you just documenting your vacation, not about um, creating the next masterpiece. <laughs> this is just about, you know, having fun and documenting things. Yeah. I like that. Okay, let's, we're going to leave that. I'm not going to go too far with that black pen because we're going to do our journaling with it. But um, first I'm going to just add some little pops of uh, white gel pen. Usually I just do dots. Not always, but usually I just do dots. At least I did on this trip. I don't know why. Well, that's good. It just gives it some interest, I think. Okay, so now we're going to just do some journaling about um, what we did on these last two days and, you know, basically how much fun I had on the trip and um, this journal always ends up with pages that are glued together because I'm just not careful. This is how my pages start out though before I leave on the trip. I make sure I have enough of these done plus a few extras more than I think I might need um, so that I already have some backgrounds ready to go. Um, to work on. All right, so let's do some journaling. Let's see. And again, nothing complicated. Just you know, you can go into lots of detail or not. Um, just journal about you know your trip and how you felt about the different places that are documented on this page. Why do pens always run out of ink right when you're in the middle of something? What is with that? And I write every which way. I constantly turn the journal as I'm writing in it, and I, it makes the page more interesting if the journal is not what you expect. Sometimes if I'm 
writing a comment about something in particular, I'll draw an arrow to that thing on that page that documents that. So I can remember screaming kids, which is what I just wrote. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, the flight home. <laughs> Lots of screaming kids. So there you go. I would probably leave it at that. That is good. I would probably just do this down here because it seems like it needs something, but I don't want to do any more journaling. And I'll go back and show you. This is, um, and then I also date the page. I'll let it dry a little bit more, and I do, I do date the page. Uh, maybe not necessarily the date these things happened, but I do try to include um, bits and pieces of things that have the date that things happened on them. Um, but I try to complete the page soon after and then date it the day it's completed. So the date is always the day I completed the page and did the journaling. Um, and this is from the beginning of the year. Just different pieces of different things, different bits and bobs, things people gave me, things I picked up. Seems like I've got to wax a couple pages again. And I, you know, pick up postcards and then I'll do a flip out, you know, tickets to things that we did. And this is the first day of the Las Vegas trip. And this is a little envelope that I had with me and I put my extra photos in there. I did a lot of smash pennies on this trip. They're inexpensive to do and then stick in your journal, but you have to use gel medium or they won't stick more flip outs. I really like the Mob Museum. That was a lot of fun. We also went to the Clark County Museum. I'd recommend that. that if, if you like history, I would recommend that because that was a lot of fun. As I said, the Frank Sinatra tribute show, which was great. This is our trip to Red Rock Canyon. And also that day we went to the Neon Museum. Valley of Fire State Park, which is gorgeous, people. That's just absolutely gorgeous. And this is today's page. So that's it. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do with a small travel journal. Now, this journal is not going to close at the end of the year. Um, I just don't even bother even worrying about trying to keep it flat. That's me. If you want to keep it really flat, then you need to put um, be careful about how much stuff you collage in here, how much stuff you collage in towards the spine. Um, or use a different kind of journal. Um, for me, it doesn't matter. I have last year's on display and it sits it's like this. And I kind of like that it does that. I think that's interesting. So there you have it. I hope it gives you some great ideas. Um, you can find now all my copyright notices and disclaimers in the description below, along with my contact information now. So if you have anything you want to ask me, you can email me. Um, my PO box is down there. So if you want to send me something, um, if you are a company with a product you'd like me to review and you want to send me some samples, I'm all for that. Um, I can do that for you. Um, you have a way to contact me now. Just look in the description below. And don't forget to please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day, week, or weekend, whatever. I don't know yet when I'm going to air this, but you know, have a great day. And don't forget to do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later.